Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Connect Africa. So um, first of all, I'm very sorry that for the delay, really, we have some technical problem and some of our speakers had unexpected uh, situations. So yeah, we have to wait for them. Uh, so today we are here to reflect on the Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's uh, speech today on the, uh, uh, at the opening of uh, the AU 35's ordinary uh, AU summit or assembly, uh, which I found, uh, I find it very a Pan African speech. So we have here Pan Africa, it's a, a Pan African media platform. We have here Pan African guests from uh, various uh, professions, various places, and we are here to reflect exactly on that speech line by line. Uh, I will quickly introduce uh, my guests here. We have here Brother Lansana. He has to join another session and we have delayed him uh, and we ourselves were late. So he will quickly reflect uh, on the speech of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. And, and specifically, I want to throw this question to him. You know, he, the Prime Minister has raised several issues and one of them was the peace and security you know despite uh, the unions or the african union commitment to secure peace and security in the continent but still you know uh, many of the countries uh, are uh, there are emerging conflicts uh, in the continent endangering the sovereignty of member states uh, in the continent so how do you view, and we have now in Western Africa various coup d'etats and you know a lot of things are going on in Africa. What's your take on this generally on the speech and with what is going on in West Africa because your activism has a direct relation with that? Oh, can I uh, can I eat, um, respond in English or in French? Sorry. Uh, you can do it in French so that, you know, we can uh, okay. include French speakers, you know. Okay. So, uh, j'ai beaucoup, merci beaucoup pour cette invitation. Je remercie toutes les personnes qui sont présentes pendant ce direct-là. Et je remercie uh, Connect Africa et la chaîne panafricaine. Alors, j'ai beaucoup apprécié le discours du Premier ministre parce qu'il a insisté sur le fait que l'Afrique devrait avoir des sièges au Conseil de sécurité de l'ONU. Et c'est quelque chose qui est impératif. L'Afrique devrait vraiment avoir un siège au Conseil de sécurité de l'ONU pour que la voix de l'Afrique soit entendue, pour que les Africains puissent prendre des décisions pour les Africains et qu'on cesse de prendre des décisions pour les Africains à la place des Africains et parfois contre les Africains. Donc je pense que c'est quelque chose qui est très très important. Le plan de la sécurité, ce sont les Africains qui doivent eux-mêmes s'organiser pour assurer leur propre sécurité. Les bases militaires étrangères ne sont pas des solutions. Les bases militaires américaines ne sont pas des solutions. Les bases militaires françaises non plus ne sont pas des solutions. Ce sont les Africains qui doivent s'organiser pour trouver des réponses face à leurs différents problèmes. Le problème de sécurité, le problème des coups d'État, tout cela doit être réglé par des organisations africaines fortes et non par l'Union européenne ou par d'autres organisations qui viennent se substituer aux organisations sous-régionales. Donc, j'ai beaucoup apprécié son discours. Il a parlé aussi de la question de, 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 euh, de la nature, la question de planter des arbres. Il a parlé de l'agriculture qui puisse aider les Africains à devenir indépendants. Donc, sur tous ces plans-là, il a beaucoup insisté sur euh, euh, l'autodétermination des Africains. Et nous, en tant que panafricains, on se bat pour cela. En tant que panafricains, c'est ce que nous prenons dans, dans notre discours. Donc, il a fait un discours typiquement panafricain que tous les panafricains saluent. Et j'espère que les autres frères africains présents avec lui vont sérieusement réfléchir sur les questions qu'il a eu à traiter, sur les questions qu'il a eu à aborder. Parce qu'à travers ces questions, il y a beaucoup de problèmes qui puissent être réglés par les Africains. So, sister, it's what I think in French about his speech. So, it is something very important uh, for me to explain here. And I thank you for the opportunity you're giving to me to, tonight. The, the part, part on you, you commented, you know, you know the EU and, and what's, what's going on in West Africa, Africa in terms of peace and security, you can say, say that, that English 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 should be nice, nice. Not, not, not the whole speech. speech. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, so what, what I say. say is that, is that um, I really, I really appreciate, appreciate this talk because, because uh, uh, Africa, Africa needs to take uh, in charge 
its security. So it is not AU that will uh, solve African security problem. So it is a regional organization that have to seriously think about it and to take the solution that is, that is uh, uh, proper to our reality. So uh, I think if there is coup d'etat in Africa, uh, it is because there are many persons that have been elected that are not the choice of African people. So Africa is being uh, judged by organizations like Nations Unies. Uh, um, I, I don't know how do you say Nations Unies, sorry. So it is these organizations where Africa is missing, is these organizations that are taking uh, many, many condemnations for African countries. So Africa need to have persons that will represent our country in these organizations. So it's very important for Africa to have three or five permanent uh, persons that will stay in this organization or no permanent person that will represent Africa in this organization of Nations Unies. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Lansana. Thank you for your reflection, for your view, you know, to share this with us. Thank you very much for your time as well. Yeah.